Just Chanel here. It is the next day. Let's let's switch it up today. Let's use an infuser mug because I rarely ever use my infuser mug anymore just because I really love my infuser balls. Let's see if this light works. Infuser mug available on the site. I think there's about 20 to 30 left. Um, we're going to drink Love Thy Liver this morning. So literally all you have to do if you do not um, know how much tea to use in your in, um, in your infuser mug, if you're new to this, please measure your tea, please, okay? You can literally use your infuser ball to measure your tea. Uh, you just need this amount, like nothing too crazy, okay? And put that right into your infuser mug. This mug is a little bit bigger than most. Um, it is a 14 ounce mug. So you wanna make sure you're using enough tea, but it's not like your typical, it's almost double um, the amount of tea you would need if you were like steeping a regular tea bag because most tea bags are for eight ounce cups, like your store-bought teas. Of course, this is quality, so you can steep this more than once, but I like my Love Thy Liver to be pretty strong. I think I mixed this yesterday, I did. This is love a mix of Love Thy Liver and Jade Passion. I wanna start drinking green tea this season just because I've been working out in the morning, so it's a really good um, energy booster. So we're just gonna pour the water all the way to the top of the infuser insert like so it'll kind of like mellow down uh, and then I'm going to grate some ginger mind you there's already ginger root in the blend in this blend but y'all that tea last night was just so bomb and I still have a little bit of a cough and I'm really um, prioritizing like my digestive health so this is just added benefits. However, ginger root is definitely in the tea. I'm gonna do the same thing with this turmeric. Probably shouldn't cut this directly on my counter. That seems, um, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want my counter to get stained. And turmeric is great because it has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, any sort of swelling, bloating is gonna help with all of that. Also, it's a great um, immune support superfood or super root. It keeps you nice and healthy. All right, perfect. So we just let that steep for about five minutes. Um, where are my tops? Huh, where, if, I was, uh, if I was an infuser mug top, where would I be? Oh, just kidding. All right, of course, you have your bamboo top with our logo on it. Put that right over the top. This is a thermal lid, so it's going to keep your tea nice and warm while it steeps. And also, like, if you bring it to your desk, it'll bring it'll um, keep your tea warm for about an hour. All right, I have all of the materials set up. Um, camera for the real phone, uh, the phone Instagram camera. I love using this filter for all of my food content. My clean almonds, went ahead and rinsed those, added some dates. I'm also going to use my uh, savory breakfast seasoning blend. This is a coconut sugar based blend with a lot of different spices in it. Great for all your baking needs, your plant-based milks, um, and also as a topping for things like oatmeal. And then, of course, I'll be storing uh, my almond milk in these amazing glass uh, bottles. I get these from Amazon. They are so affordable and um, same day delivery, same next day. So I'll leave the link down below. Also, of course, on my Amazon storefront. So let's go ahead and get to filming when you're making the um, any plant based milks with the Nama juicer. Y'all know I love this thing. Uh, you should be spooning everything into the top uh, like little hole here. So you don't want to like 
the thing is the you need the liquid to actually make your milk and if you put the liquid directly into the chamber um, it's just going to flow down to the bottom before your uh, machine actually starts functioning so you want to like make sure that everything is going in all together as the machine is on so i'm just gonna go ahead and start hopefully i can capture this because i don't have a lot of hands <laughs> just two and i've got a scoop with one probably film with the other we'll see how this works down the best batch of oat I mean almond milk that I've made um, usually it's like really watery that noise is my sink by the way but anyway um, you look how it's like literally sticking to the container y'all so creamy so I ran it through a few times I basically um, juice the pulp again too with a little bit more liquid and it is so creamy I already gave it a taste I'm gonna actually drink the rest of this usually I don't like just drink it straight out you know use it for cereal or coffee tea um, but it's that good and I'm glad that I juiced the pulp because I have some left here that I'll probably put in another um, jar in order to I actually I may put it in a mason jar since I'm not gonna like drink this one but I'm gonna use this for baking so yeah Ooh, I bet I could freeze it too it's so it's so good I topped it with of course the breakfast so <laughs> I'm excited my reel I think it came out really good I just have to find some audio for it make sure also when you're putting your lids on your juices you're screwing them really tight and I read something today I was kind of doing some juicing research I read something today that said you should fill your juices up to the top like mainly your vegetable and fruit juices anything that has a lot of um, sugar content like fresh fruit juices fill them all the way to the top because you don't want a lot of air to get in them um, they'll ferment and they're not as they won't last as long so you can drink your juice um, up to about three days sometimes I even drink my juice on the fourth day but fruit juices will taste like a little bit weird around day two and a half so definitely fill it to the top just to like limit the amount of space and air that's in your container and make sure you are tightening your lids really well i'm not sure if that's the same like if you're supposed to use that same tip for melts but i'm doing it anyway all right lunch is served looks good all right, y'all, it's a whole new day. I am going into the grocery store to juice, um, shop for juicing this week, but look what Sprouts has. They have um, strawberry plants, blueberry plants, raspberry, and then 99 cent seeds. So I'm gonna grab some onion seedlings. Like, look at all of these seedlings. This is perfect because um, I don't have to wait for basically my onions to rot in a set. I can just go ahead and plant these. I think asparagus takes two years, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there must be some type of way to grow it from this. It says, I don't know how long it takes, but interesting. I'll have to look that up. I'm going to grab the shallots and onions. I'm also going to go ahead and get some potatoes because... <laughs> Those potatoes I grew, I don't even really know if they're gonna work. I don't know what kind they are for real. Um, I think that's everything that they have. This is so cool. I'm so excited. Okay. Also, I'm filming like multiple reels, so this will be interesting. <laughs> able to capture so I'm hoping to get like a grocery store like entering the grocery store grabbing the basket and then just picking up everything that I need for the five-day uh, juice plan I ended up getting a mint plant which is really exciting because my mint's doing excellent at home like the springs I have but mint grows super fast and I wanted to I want to have a lot of mint to like juice make lemonades things so I just decided to go ahead and get a plant I'll probably do the same thing with a lot of other um, herbs cilantro parsley basil and there's another one I want to do basil I 
don't know. Um, but I'm gonna wait till I get back in town. These videos look so good. My total ended up being 24, 24.72. So I think that's pretty, oh, did I miss the, oh yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, so I wanna put that at the end of the reel. And maybe I'll make like a juice. I'm thinking of doing like a juice flight today. So I wanna make all of the juices that are in the plan just so that I have the content. Like y'all, I'm trying to push out 10 videos today. Hopefully you can hear me because the wind is kinda high. I may not use this. This is just me walking out of the store. It's probably not necessary. Maybe my last clip can be like me grabbing the bag out of the cart and putting it into the car. So I took my time, got this done, um, and I am gonna go home and clean, juice everything, and get content for each juice. Um, there's five juices. So I'm gonna make sure I get content, complete content for each recipe. Plus, I want to get some content of setting up my juicer, cleaning my juicer, and then kind of like combine content. So I'm thinking of doing like a juice flight to try all of the juices um, today so I can kind of see what they all taste like. And then I'll start finding audio on Instagram and editing the reels. So here's the concept. I gotta put my phone on the charger. It's about to die. I am on well, my first juice, but this is actually day five of the juice plan. Um, something I noticed when bulk juicing several recipes, you really have to be mindful of the colors of juice that you're making. So you really wanna go lightest to darkest. If you're ever using any beets, do that last. Um, and then, so you would wanna do like your pineapple, yellow juices first, your green juices, your orange, if the orange has any turmeric or carrot in it, and then do the beet juice. So I'm starting off with the pineapple, lemon, and ginger recipe for Friday. It looks really good. I just set up this little situation here for my bottle pour, and I should have about an ounce of juice left. I'll probably do like five shots around the little wood situation here. Um, what is this called? I don't know, I found this randomly in my cabinet. But I think I'm gonna do five shots to do like an end, like an, uh, some sort of compilation video, I guess, of all of the juices. Let's go ahead and pour. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just hold the camera and do this. Um, this, these recipes that I'm sharing over on my Instagram, they literally make enough juice for you to just have juice that morning. So if you're interested in bulk juicing, like how I usually do, um, just, you know, triple or quadruple your recipe. But this is, this whole plan is just meant for you to have one juice when you start your day and then eat as normal, you know, balanced meals, three to four meals a day. Okay, let's do this thing. Hopefully I, one thing I love about this is it generally, goes directly in, yep. Woo, ooh, I love how I went all the way to the top. Okay, okay, did I get the spill? Oh, you can't even see this, like the spill in the video. Oh, it looks so good, okay. Something else I did, I marked my table with a dry erase marker, so I know exactly where to place my, um, my phone stand. So I have one there and then one here too to catch I'm like, what is that? I forgot I put some meatloaf in the oven to catch the pour from the um, the actual juicer like when I'm putting it in the container. Oh, I love how I filled it all the way up. That looks really good. Look at that. Wow. Wow, she did a thing. Okay, let's make sure it saves. My, I'm sure the storage on my phone is really low. Um, real quick, let's check this meatloaf. I just got like one of those oven meals. And it's a nice big meatloaf with some potatoes. Oh wow, look, oh I can't even see that. It looks great though. Wow, okay. Um, I'm gonna just turn the oven off. Wow, I was not expecting. Oh, it's all like, cooked perfectly too. Mmm, it tastes good. Right. I'm just gonna turn the oven off. There we go. And I'll take that out in a second. Just finished all of the juicing. Very proud of myself. I even filmed um, a reel just kind of taste testing these or pouring them in these shot glasses. I figured I would taste test here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get into it. I know everything tastes good because y'all know I was drinking a little bit as I go. I'm just gonna sit out here on the balcony and shot these up real quick. Okay, let's start with 
the beet juice so all the details for these juice recipes are on my instagram my first and last name chanel blackpool um all of these are like three ingredient juice recipes so super simple budget friendly i only spent 24 dollars and some change at the grocery store that included a mint plant and i always buy organic produce so you can probably spend like 15 to 18 dollars honestly um beet apple cucumber A lot better than doing beets and carrots i need to start doing beet and cucumber more it's smoother um let's go fennel pear mint cheers mm. that kind of tastes like water <laughs> like it's very um it's mild but it has that Spice, like a star anise type of licorice like very faint flavor to it okay let's go carrot turmeric is it carrot turmeric apple mm -hmm. you know I've noticed like these are so much easier to get down than the juices I usually make because y'all know I be putting like six seven eight things in my juices always herbs and stuff and lots of citrus like I do a lot of lemon these are so much more mild so I see why they created um, this beginner juicer juicing plan because they don't taste bad at all they like it's like drinking a flavored water <laughs> I think this is my favorite one. It's potent. It's sweet and it's tart. Um, this is spinach, grapes, and lime. Lime really sets it off. And then last but not least, cheers, pineapple, ginger, and lemon. I'm actually gonna just juice a bunch of random um, veggies that I have left over with a little bit of pineapple and drink that as like my vegetables with dinner with that meatloaf and potatoes. I think I have I have some kale that was in my refrigerator and then dandelion greens also that were already in the fridge. The rest of the pineapple from juicing, the carrot tops, you can juice your carrot tops and Oh, there's a little bit of spinach left too. It's gonna be um, probably super bitter, but I don't mind. I like to get my greens in. It is a new day. I am working on some juice, um, just like facts for the screen on text screen facts because Jasmine is here. Wow, my camera is so dirty every time I start. Sorry, y'all know I be having a wipe it down. Cause I'm all wet. <laughs> uh, Jazz is editing. She's in edit. This is uh, editing Jazz right now. And she's editing my green juice video that you guys should totally go watch. Oh, you can't see it right now. But. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> I'm going to upload it and everything. Um, also, oh. Ooh, it's a video. It's great. It's like real vibey. Um, it's literally just like a two minute video about my favorite green juice recipe. Which is some cool facts and all the links to the juice materials. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna finish some work probably until the sun goes down. Can y'all hear the music? I don't know if y'all can hear it. Good morning, it's Friday. It's the start of my work week, so I'm getting ready. My bathroom is a disaster. I can't wait to show y'all actually because there's so many good skincare products out, but I'm filming on my trip and i'm gonna have a really long layover tomorrow so i was like i want to get some content done go explore all of the things so i'm packing my bag in a way where i'm bringing more product than clothes um because i have so many things i want to show like in the videos anyway 
I don't want to forget my tea. So I'm making, I said, you know, I was up there packing and I'm like, let me come downstairs and make my morning tea because I literally just got right up and started packing and y'all know I can't really function without tea. So here we are. Ooh, it's a love thy liver and I'm at the bottom of my love thy liver. Like, let me show y'all what it looks like on here. It's right here. Um, when you get kind of to the bottom, it's like the shake. Okay, so you get a lot of ginger. Oh, I love when it's just fine grounds like this because the tea's really strong and you also don't have to steep it as long. You only have to steep it for about a minute or two and then I can re-steep this for another cup as well without using more tea. Um, another thing that I am doing, just bagging up some tea in my BYOB bags here because I don't wanna bring um, like an entire package of tea. This is some matcha, but this is the packaging. Um, I don't wanna bring this with me. I wanna save some space, so I'm just gonna put them in these little sachet bags or like literally put the sachets in a sachet. I'm also bringing some chamomile tea and I'm going to go ahead and pack up a little bit of Jade Passion um, for some energy because my last leg on this trip is a red eye. An absolute disaster. Like what is happening in here? Um, I am switching everything out for spring and summer. So every season, not not the music just started out of nowhere like uh hey google pause so i think a lot of flight attendants do this we switch everything out seasonally um but there are some things that like always stay in your bag like a swimsuit is one of those things that are that's always in my bag just because i could go to the beach like i may be going to costa rica in december and girl the last thing you want is to be on some all-inclusive resort with no swimsuit so but as far as um my toiletry bag i just want to make sure i have all my skincare products but because I'm getting older, okay, <laughs> and I need all the I need all the skincare. So my Holy Grail skincare um, oil, this Virgin Marula oil by Drunk Elephant, I'm bringing that with me. Of course, I'm actually bringing the full size with me. Usually, I bring a travel size and just kind of refill it, but. I'm just gonna start bringing the full size. I have my night care, my night skincare here. I'm also a drunk elephant. I like this Tula um, eye cream. The applicator is really nice. I actually need to buy another one because this is just about done. I don't usually bring full size products with me, but I'm gonna start because I really like the Fenty Skin and I love that the moisturizer has SPF. So I'm just gonna start bring in um, the full size versions with me and buy double for the house. Um, I'm also bringing this Chanel Chance. This is the Sheer Moisture Mist. This I've been using for about 10 years. It's one of my favorite fragrances. Um, not just the Chanel Chance fragrance, but also this formula. It's really nice right outside this shower. So I like to keep my fragrances really light for flight attendant, like when I'm at work, when I'm a flight attendant, because you know people could have allergies and stuff on the plane and you don't want to stir up anyone's uh, situations because then it just makes it harder for us okay um I also am bringing my Merit makeup so this is the bag that comes with my Merit I have I put my primer in here which I like to use this Tula like blur face primer and I'm also bringing that um, brow mascara and <laughs> y'all the Fenty Beauty mascara, you need to get this. Like this stuff is incredible. You're gonna see again, okay? In the, because I've been wearing this every day, like even just in the house, I've been putting it on. Um, as far as the Merit makeup, this is a minimalist makeup brand that I really like. This is a complexion stick. You can do the whole, like your whole makeup routine, like a skin but better makeup um, in five minutes. So I'm bringing the complexion stick, their blush, and then they have a glow stick and the best lip gloss Ever. This is in the color Bel Air, this lip gloss. It's like a clear, like a tinted nude clear situation. It's so pretty. Uh, and then of course I'm bringing my Fenty lip with me as well. I'm gonna do like a real light face before I go to work today. So I'm just gonna leave, kind of pick as I go and everything that I definitely use for my face today, I'll just throw right in the bag to take with me. This doubles as a purse. Um, so I love that they include 
this bag with your first purchase i'll leave a link down below because i have a code so you guys can save some money i really like this and y'all know i'm not a makeup girly so if you're not a makeup girly or you just want a more um simple routine for the spring and summer definitely check out merit now as far as i got some tea in here too from my from a crew chow um as far as my clothes i'm washing my bedding and all that because i want to come back to a nice clean home now i'm getting my summer spring wardrobe together for my trip so I have a couple loungewear outfits. These are like hotel outfits. Um, some biker shorts, t-shirt, like a little legging set. And then I have just shirts that can go with jeans, a bodysuit, and of course my t-shirt. This is available on my site. Super cute, chic. If you love tea like me, definitely go get you one of these. Workout clothes. This is a shorts and sports bra set. And then this is a sports bra. I'm going to add some black leggings to this. Um, these also double as like if I need to run to the pharmacy or like the corner store or something on the layover and you know in the spring or summer this is acceptable with some sneakers in the spring or summer i am more prone to be outside okay even on the layover so i like to always pack heels which are already in my bag and then i'm gonna pack this really cute like midi um dress it's kind of like a bodycon dress um and then i also have this kind of almost sheer abstract strapless dress so i'm gonna pack this too to kind of keep in my bag i bought this for a party originally but the quality is not that great um and i don't think i would wear it here like at home like in atlanta when i'm going out so it'll be a cute dress to kind of put on if the crew and i go out or like if i get invited to a concert or something or find out about a last minute event on a layover i think this will be really cute with some heels and this trip i'm gonna bring a blazer and see if i like traveling with a blazer so i don't usually travel with like outerwear um, other than a light jacket in the spring or summer seasons but i think a blazer would be really cute with some denim shorts um of course like a strapless dress like this to kind of dress it up for nighttime so i'm gonna try it out this trip um i'm kind of gonna put together like a denim shorts and maybe a bodysuit outfit and see if the um blazer is something i want to keep in my layover what do we call this like layover wardrobe i don't think i'm missing anything oh i don't have pajamas gotta get some pajamas i keep like underwear and stuff in my bag um i'm also thinking about i already have jeans in my bag as well i want to add maybe one more super casual outfit um i guess the shorts could go the shorts i bring could go with these tops as well but i want to do like if i was going to a ball game like maybe find a graphic t-shirt or uh, just a night like a I don't know something i can pack every time i try or work um i don't usually switch out my clothes like maybe every two to three months i switch them out but for the most part i have a layover clothes if that makes sense um so other than pajamas i think i'm all good and yeah the blazer with the dress another dress blazer with shorts t-shirts and bodysuits with shorts and jeans loungewear workout clothes I'm pretty sure I've covered all my bases here. Okay, y'all, I am almost ready. I'm about to get in the car and I'm gonna do my makeup and all that stuff in the car. This scarf is a little bit different, so I don't know if I'm gonna wear this one. It's actually really long and doesn't have like a place to tie. Like, it's weird. This one has a loop. Let me see if you can see it. See that like loop right there? So you like just place one end of the scarf in that loop, but I didn't realize they changed the scarf design. So I'm going to play around with this, do my makeup. I decided to go without hosiery. I wear it on the way back since I'm filming that video. Yeah, let's go to the airport. <laughs>